<laughs> Amen. Am I right? That's right. Uh, you have to know it for yourself. Yeah. Uh, you have to know it for yourself. Yes, sir. And, and, and I'm going to say it this way. Not only know it for yourself, but you got to bend and prove it. Uh, you got some people that, that won't believe, like Thomas said, unless I thrust my hand in the side, uh, to the nail print in his hand, uh, and, 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 and uh, I won't believe until I see that. Uh, and, uh, so you got, you got a lot of people out there, thank you, Jesus, to influence. Uh, God has given all of us influence. Amen. Amen. All of us have a view. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And, and the influence that he gives us is to lead people to him. Amen. 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 And, your, and your life, your life is the greatest good. Do we believe that? That's right. That's Thank right. you, Lord. Uh, people, people hear what you say, but they believe what you do. That's yeah. right. Uh, they hear what you say, but they believe what you do. Uh, and it's important for them to not only hear, but to be, to be what? Believers. Yes, right. Amen. And what constitutes a believer? What constitutes a believer? Your lifestyle. Your lifestyle. That's how you know someone believes. They change. Uh, uh, when you, 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 uh, um, I don't make it sound negative. You call yourself a believer, right? <laughs> but you are a believer, right? Amen. Thank you, Lord. What makes you a believer? Your lifestyle. Mm. Amen. Not just the hearer of the word, but the what? The doer. The doer. I want to be a doer. Amen. So, so uh, in talking then, uh, before I get into the real doctrine of Jesus Christ, I want, to, I want to talk uh, a little bit tonight about, about what Jesus told uh, the twelve. Amen. What he told the twelve. Thank you, Lord. About, about him. About him and what they should do with him. Amen. I fell off the <laughs> so, so let's go over. Uh, let's start out with uh, Matthew. Well, well, thank you, Lord. Let's start with Mark. The commission. Mark. Let's go to Mark. We're going to read off. We're going to read off. Uh, out of my mouth, out of all three, four dollars. But I'm going to start with Mark. Mark, uh, chapter 16. And. Drop down the verse, verse 14. Afterward he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat, and upbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart, mm -hmm. because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. Now, the Jesus had, had taught them on a regular basis, and, and especially toward the end, that he would suffer, that he would uh, be uh, crucified, that he would die, and that he would be risen again. Mm -hmm. And that repentance and remissions of sin would be preached in his name. And, and he also prayed for these twelve. Uh, that, that, that they be one as he and the Father, and that people would believe on him through their word. Right? Yeah. And because they were <coughs> lacking faith to believe, notice Jesus' response. He said, He what? And after he appeared unto the as they sat at meat, he upbraided them. What does that word upbraided mean? Uplifted. Uh, well, no, not, not in that sense. He rebuked them. Yeah. 
He, 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 he rebuked them. He was angry with them. Because of what? Because they failed to believe. Amen? They failed to believe. He was going to use them to build his church. Uh, Christ uses us to build his church. Amen? Amen. And as we said in the minister's meeting, this, these four walls don't constitute a church. Uh, what constitutes a church is people believing in his doctrine. Uh, you, can, you can be in the wilderness and you can have a church. God the Baptist had a wilderness. Uh, uh, a church in the wilderness. Uh, hey, what? what was he doing? He was preaching. He was begging. Uh, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yeah, sure. Thank you, Lord. He didn't have no choir. He didn't have a choir of judgment. But he had the word. Uh, we got we to gotta get that word. Uh, down on the inside. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I thank God for the word. Amen. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by what? Every word. Every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Yes, sir. Uh, that word that I what? Hid in my heart. Uh, that I might not transgress against thee. Yes. That I might not sin against thee. Yes. Amen. Amen. Notice he said, build yourself up. Uh, on the most holy faith. Yes. Faith coming by hearing. And that by what? Word of God. The word of God. Yes. Amen. We're commissioned to know that word. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Uh, and not only to, to know it, but to live it. Yes. Uh, uh, I want to live this way. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I don't want to hear this here. I'm getting off track here. But, but I feel like saying, I don't want to hear him in the end say, depart from me. Yeah. I want to hear him say that. Yeah. I want to hear him say, well done. Thy good and what? Faithful servant. Faithful servant. Enter ye into the what? The joy of the Lord. Amen. Now notice what he said. He said, he upbraided them for their unbelief and notice. Not only did they have unbelief, but they had what? Hardness of what? Heart. 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 Amen. Hardness of heart. And simply a person that has a hard heart, they're not, they're not receiving the truth. Amen. We've got to be open and receive the truth that is in the Word of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Be open. Receive God's Word. Believe God's <coughs> word. Don't wrestle with God's word to your own destruction. Yes. Believe what it says. Yes, yes. Trust in what it says. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, you know, you know, sometimes uh, with, 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 with us as, as believers, we can hear the scripture so often quoted that that we just think it, it's like a news camp. Mm. It's like an art. Uh, Thank you, Lord, that, that it can be so common to us. I said, we can pay and do it for a night. Uh, that the joy of the Lord is my strength. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Uh, we, we hear that. We can hear it so often. We, mean, we uh, don't, don't, don't uh, uh, let it lose, lose its power. Uh, that word is power. Uh, we can power. Amen. Believe God's word. Yes. Uh, if God is sending his word to you, uh, thank you, Lord. Receive it. Receive it, man. Uh, God will wake you up in the morning and give you a word. Uh, receive it. Amen. Uh, receive it like riches, like gold, like, like it's the best thing on the market. Yes. Uh, like you got a million dollars. That's right. Amen. Receive God's word. Believe God's word. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. So, so don't, the, the disciples, they, they were hard in their heart. What heart they are? They, 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 they were afraid. Uh, Jesus had left them. Uh, and, and he died. He got killed. Am I right? Amen. And they were afraid that that, that was going to happen to them because they believed on Jesus. Father, and, and 
You'd be on you'd be on top of the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> you'd be on top of the mountain. Uh, but, but, but something can happen. Yeah. Uh, if, 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 if you if you don't be on the faith, then God had to visit him, meet him, and restore him. Yeah. Uh, give him strength. He said, God, I don't want to talk about my knees. God said, what are you talking about? Uh, I, I have some thoughts. I have a body and knee of faith. And I do not even know what. We got to trust our God. Yes. yes. Uh, we got to believe our God. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord.
15. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. All right. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Uh -huh. But he that believeth not shall be damned. Now, God has put a love in our hearts for other people. Amen. Now notice what he said. If you don't tell us, he said, he that believeth and is what? Baptized. Baptized shall be what? Saved. They gotta believe on who? Jesus. 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 So you got to tell them about who? Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You got to know who Jesus is. Yes. You got to know how, how, how that Jesus saved. Yes, yes Lord. Amen. 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 And and you know what I'm saying? He that believes and is baptized shall be what? Saved. Now, Lord, if if you miss out on the opportunity to tell people about Jesus, what's going to happen to them? He that believes in God shall be what? Damn. Damn. What does that word mean, damn? Yeah. Eternally lost. My Eternally separated from God. We don't want that, do we? No, sir. Thank you, and, and, and God, God is awesome. He uses us. Yes. Uh, for his glory. Yeah. Amen.
tete-a-tete. And I'm using this word loosely up in here. Perfect. I'm like, you haven't done anything. Oh. Like your poop don't stink. Yes. Don't act like that. Right. Uh, don't act like you didn't have, you don't have an issue that, that you have no more time in Right. Huh? Yes. Right. People have to call you to Amen. Right. Amen. Uh, my brother. If we never fall, what use would we have of Jesus? Right. What use would we have of God if we never fall? That's it. The Bible says we're apt to err. We're apt to make mistakes. We're apt to do things contrary. Absolutely. Now, I'm going to make this point clear. It ain't about you silly and goofy. It ain't about you going out, doing <laughs> stuff on purpose. Yes, sir. Huh?
you made me think of when you were mentioning a couple of the couple sins, and you say you got one hand, you got two hands. Huh? It made me think of a preacher that said one time, just sit there and wait, I'm gonna come down your aisle. Because <laughs> everybody in here got something in their life that we need to have to, to get the victory over. So don't deceive yourself, Elder Rackwood. You ain't overcome everything. Especially not enough where I can get up in your face and show myself as being perfected already. Thank you. And I, you know, I think about my brother Moe. Brother Moe. Amen. Uh, he had a stuttering problem. Yes. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yes. And, and, and he was a little afraid to go before Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> 
Does God love people? Yes. 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 Should we love people? Yes. 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 Amen. Now what does God say? God so loved the world yes. that he gave up. Amen. Yes. 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 Only God can say.
Look at God. This is God. This is why he said this. I want y'all to hear me. He said it's more blessed to what? Yeah. Give. Than to what? Receive. God wants us to give to people. Yes. Right. Yeah. To help people. Yes. yes. Amen. God gave to you this. Yes. <laughs> God helps us. Yes. yes. Thank you, Lord. And, and it's been documented scientifically. You look up Maslow's hierarchy of needs. The, 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 the bottom of that pyramid is your, your essential needs of survival. Yes. Huh? Help people. Oh, Help go. people to survive. Yes, Lord. Huh? Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I'm teaching the new revolution. <laughs> Help people. Amen? Yes, Lord. Be the agent of God. Yeah. Be the agent of change. Yes. Amen. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is, this is right. We've been preaching on this Monday. It was on a Sunday. And he was talking about helping the homeless. And uh, I, had, I, had, I had went to the Salvation Army. I got me one of the nice homes, a nice winter coat, you know, it was clean at 100%, not clean, 100%. Uh, Whoa. Boom.
to tell to <laughs> Yeah.
Put it in there, y'all. That's right, that's right. You know, that's right. Right. Yes, sir. Uh, am I right? Amen. Amen. Uh, and so, so all the way, when you hear those kind of words, who they think they are, you, you deserve it. Uh, you turn that off. And that's all it Yes, sir. When you sit up, I don't know why I'm going here. You sit up trying to, trying to, trying to make moves on your own to, to lift yourself up out the situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you make it plan, mm -hmm. <laughs> that ain't good. Uh, that's the end. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Let God lift you up. Come on, yes, sir. Come on. Amen. 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 Let God. Amen. You please God. Yes. Huh? And if you please God, then He'll cause everybody else to be at peace with you. Amen. Am I right? Yes, sir. Um, this is good stuff. <laughs> All right, who we at? Verse 17. Uh huh. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Now, now look. Uh, and, and believe. There, there's a sign that, that followed them that believe. Amen? Read. In my name shall they cast out devils. Now, in the name of Jesus, now, you as a disciple and a follower of Christ, you got power over devils. Do you believe that? Amen. 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 Bishop Bell, y'all remember Bishop Bell? Bishop Bell, he was a hard bishop. Yes, he was. <laughs> and and there, was, there was a guy that came into the service. Clearly, he was demonically possessed. The, the deacons scooped him up to take him out. Bishop Bell said, hold on! Say because God don't, He wouldn't allow us to be overcome with this, with nothing. Yeah, exactly. if, we're, if, we're, if we're serving, if we're, absolutely we're living for him. Yeah, greater is He, yes, that is in me than He is in the world. Amen. Right. Demon possession is real. Amen. All right, yes, He equips us with that power because when we're talking to unsaved people. They got evil spirits on them. Yes, sir. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. Should we be intimidated because they got evil spirits on them? No. 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 We yes. talk to people every day and they got evil. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> you got them. You talk to them. You work with them. You live with them. Give them.
That which they, that is blocking them from receiving the word. Yes. Not for sure or fashion. Yes. Yes. Yes, Lord. You talking to somebody about treating their wife right. And they know they abuse you. Yes. Find that thing. Find it. Huh? Uh -huh. And then give them what thus saith the law. Yes, Lord. Hmm? Whatever their struggle is. Whatever they're fighting. Huh? You get ready to witness somebody. Lord, show me, show me what's, what's, what's their issue. The Lord shows you their issue. You pray. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Yes, Lord. Bind that thing. Lord, let them hear the word of the Lord. In that day, the Holy Ghost will give you what to say. Yes, yes Lord. To help free them, to help loose them. Because yes. the devil is blind to their eyes. At least they should believe. Man, I didn't talk like this in a while. <laughs> <laughs> My brother? I was going to say that's why the Holy Ghost is so important in your life. Yeah. Because yeah. people can recognize mm -hmm. whether you've got it or not. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. yeah. The seven sons of Scepter tried to <laughs> bind up the demons. They said, Jesus we know. Yeah. And Paul we know. Yeah. But who are you? Yeah. And, and they beat up on them brothers. Thank you. So the devil knows if you've got it or not. Thank you. Hallelujah. And you got it because they didn't know Jesus. We know Jesus, though. That's right. We know there's power in Jesus. Yeah. Uh, don't be, don't, don't uh, have a nice Cadillac in, in the garage and drive a uh, Pinto. Get out, drive that Cadillac. Amen? Use that power that God has given you. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. Yes, sir. Amen? Amen. Oh, you got it, Amen. 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 Uh, yes, Lord. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> and you know, I'm going to say this. As well. Mark Tyson. This is way better than fighting you if you don't get it. That's what the fight is. Say that shield of faith is the soft. You know, 
when you got a shield, I watch different Roman movies. Yes. That doesn't mean that they're not going to get hit. Right. You know, but that shield is to soften the blow. That doesn't mean they don't feel it. Right. But that shield is a sort of protection. So your, your shield of faith is to soften the blow to help yeah. you to be able to take it. Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. people right now who are not in the church, who should have been in the church, because I decided I wanted to play a role of God. I talked about it, and I said, you know, I, I said, oh, instead, I instead of saying possible, I see you, you see can make it. What we call it? Call them stumbling blocks. Stumbling blocks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. say you might as well put, 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 put what around your neck? A millstone. A millstone around your neck. How many people are not in the church who should have been in the church, but they're not in the church because of my mind? Yes. Yes. Lord, help us. Yes. Yes. Do you know what it is? Uh, uh, just saying it. Think, think, think it's going to happen. You know, we come from tattoo age. People put tattoos everywhere. Right. On their face, head, neck. Yeah. Uh, legs, left. You know what I mean? And they could have. I'm, I'm trying to be polite. I'm trying to find the right word. Take your time. They, they, they did those things, you know, when they were, you know, probably under some yeah. other influence. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. yes, sir. Now they come to the church when we say, mm -hmm. Are we going to throw them away? No, yes, sir. No. no. Well, some things are permanent. Yes. 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 Is God going to throw them away? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. What no, do we sir. say? No. 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 They may not come to you.
making them feel welcome, you know, and whatever. But, and, and we sit here like we're so perfect. And we still got flaws. We still got issues. This is despicable. I see this girl the other day. And she has some flaming teeth in it. Flaming. They can't turn my heart to me. No. Right. I ain't looking at a stranger, do you? Right. I said, oh, she's free here. <laughs> <laughs> That's because uh, when we're in the world, we do things, and we do it out of ignorance. Yeah. And then when God prick our hearts, and we come to the, the realization, you know what I'm saying, then yeah. we, we, that's the very reason we come to church. We're coming for help. Yeah. You know, we realize we want to turn from our wicked ways, yeah. and we're coming into the church for help. Yeah. But back in the day, you know, I didn't know any better. That's why I got myself all messed up. Now I want to straighten out. So yeah. I'm coming to where I know I can get straightened out. Yeah. I get some help. Yes. I can be around some people that love me. Yes. Right, right. And accept me for who I am. Yes. yes. Exactly. Yes. Because God accepts me for who I am. Yes. Wretched yes. 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 and undone. Um, <laughs> now, when we, when we, Take away those barriers. I want you to finish reading that before you close. When we take away those barriers of being judgmental and being stigmatizing yeah. and, and being afraid to engage people, yeah. we'll see God's glory. We'll yes. see his anointing. Yes, yes, yes. 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 had a whole lot of stuff that, that we didn't even see. You know, but the, 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 people, the people of God could see what we couldn't see. And they accepted us. You know, we came in, we had all kind of spirits. Stealing, lying, you name it. You know, we was dressing any kind of way, looking any kind of way. You know, didn't really know how to take care of ourselves. But they accepted us. You know what I'm saying? So we all, when we came into the church, we 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 were babies. We didn't know any better. And that's the way that person is with the tattoos. They didn't know what they were doing when they did that. Yes. 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 No matter how much I found it, no matter how much I struggled, there were still those people that said, I remember you. I'm, I'm trying to be saved. I'm trying to make it. But you always got that voice over the back. And the saints saying, I remember you. Let the people be saved. If God saved them, let them be saved. Amen. Now, scripture say, if I call, if I clean them up, I'm going to call them dirty. Absolutely. I'll, I'll never forget. I was, I was in Sunday service. I had just gotten saved in probably about two weeks. Uh, in that. And, and the devil was beating my head. <laughs> Nobody loved you. Everybody hates you. You're in the road. You know, all right, bring up all my past. Yes. You know, I felt like a piece of bread. Yes, sir. Yeah. Service was over. They said, the next Lord God, we need you. And, and here come, here come uh, El Elora Cross. She came to me. I was sitting on, uh, she was in the pulpit. I was sitting on the road. And she grabbed me and hugged me and said, I love you. That's all she said. That thing broke all kind of jokes in me. When she said that, yes. uh, all at the end of the accepted yes. to the very day yes. that joke has been broken. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, 